All right. Um, so uh, we got another one from Bill Burr. Hmm. Okay. 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 My man, BB. Yeah. What we got? Yeah. Um, this is Bill Burr thinks cubicles should be illegal. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. Okay. Okay. Cubicles. Yeah, cubicles. Uh, I mean, you know, for anybody who has to work in a cubicle, you know what I mean? I can see how you would like your personal space. You know, if it's, if it's, yeah. if it's like that. Yeah. You know I mean, what I, I mean? You know? I kind of agree with somebody him all the time. just staring in your face, staring in your eyes all day. But I mean, cubicles seem just so restrictive. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Yeah. they put yeah. you in a box all damn day. Like prison. Yeah. Like prison, yeah. you're like eight, five, eight by five cell yeah. or something like that. Yeah. You know you're there to work. You're, and you're there to work like a monkey. They put you in the put you in a box and tell you to work all damn day. And mm. you're in a box. Mm. Some box, it's you know the sizes vary. Some boxes yeah. are smaller and bigger than others, but it's still a yeah. box. Yeah. And people yeah. brag about oh, my my cubicle is bigger than your cubicle. Exactly. You're still in a box. <laughs> so I, I you know exactly they should be. Okay. Um, okay. But let's find out Bill Burr's take on it. Yeah. Here we go. No, I got, I got some issues, I guess. <laughs> I do. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I, a beautiful woman. I don't trust beautiful women. I just don't. You know why? You know what I've noticed in my life as a man? Beautiful women are only around when you have stuff. When your life is going on, great. They're all over the place. But when you're broke, you can't find a beautiful woman. You're like under a bridge. There's like trolls and ferrets running around. They're just not around. <laughs> then the second you get some, like you get a little money off, they come out of the woodwork. Like, oh my God, you have some stuff. Can you buy me some stuff? I want some stuff too. Then the second you go broke, oh my God, I left something over here next to this guy. He has stuff. I've always loved him. Uh, stupid. No, you know what? You know what solidified my issues? This is what solidified it. Okay, I was at a Yankees game one time, right? And I'm sitting there, it was like the end of the inning, and Tino Martinez catches a foul ball to end the inning. You know how they always throw it in the crowd? So there's like a hundred people going, Tino, 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 Tino. There's a beautiful girl sitting right in the front row, of course. Oh my God, I have these. Eh, I get to sit in the front row. What, this doesn't happen to everybody? <laughs> so there's a hundred people asking for this stupid ball. He walks right up to her, does it, just hands it right to her. Didn't flip it, didn't toss it, handed it right to her. You know what I'd have to do in my lifetime to ever catch a foul ball? First of all, it would have to be like the one in a million chance that the ball was actually hit way the hell up where I was sitting in like the upper, upper, upper deck, which means the ball is going to be coming in at about 100, 120 miles an hour. So I got to figure out like which body part I'm going to sacrifice to slow it down. And then I got to pounce on it, curl up in the fetal position as eight guys punch me in the back of the head. And I pray to God that I can hang on until security gets there. And he just walked right up and just handed her the ball. She probably didn't even know what it was. Like, basket? Oh, baseball. Oh, my God. Let me take this home and stick it next to my other unbelievable free things that I don't appreciate. Shelf in my house. Uh, <laughs> she like BB. BB. <laughs> anyway, I was taking the... Uh, I don't know, you know what the greatest thing about this job is? I don't have a boss. Uh, That's what I love about this job. I never wanted a job where I had a boss. That's why I used to always work in like warehouses. Because my boss gave me a rough time, I could just get on a forklift and just like drive away from him. <laughs> you know? And I realized I was too stupid to run a business. You know what I mean? I just knew I was never gonna be that guy in like, you know, in the big office, big long table going, we know we, in the fourth quarter, we need to increase, increase production, okay? Kathy, you're using a little bit too many paper clips and we need to just kind of tone that down, I'm not singling you out, we just kind of. I could never do it. So I realized the only thing I could ever do, my greatest thing I could ever do, was work in one of those cubicles. And I refused to do it. Cubicles should be illegal, man. You know what a cubicle basically says? It basically says like, you know what? We don't think you're smart enough for an office, but we don't want you to look at anybody. <laughs> so you're gonna get in there and you're gonna shut your face. <laughs> then you just get in there and you're like hunched over, typing away. Around lunchtime, you pop your head up like a gopher, like, hey Steve, you wanna get a sandwich? <laughs> and get in there and shut your face. I was, I was just asking for a sandwich or something. God, I hate that guy. I really hate that guy. Oh, it's time to go yeah. on the internet and look for a weapon. Pathetic, 
man. You know what I love about the cubicle? I always love the pathetic uh -huh. attempt to try to make the cubicle like a home. You know what I mean? <laughs> There's always like a stuffed animal in there, or like a picture of your mom with <laughs> disappointed eyes looking back out at you. Like, why have you accepted this as your lot in life? Why don't you have <laughs> balls to get to walk out of this thing? I'm telling you, those people need to be rescued. You ever walk by a cubicle? The person in the cubicle always looks back out at you. <laughs> because they're starved for some sort of human contact. They'll just start up a conversation like, hey, hey. <laughs> Is it raining out? I haven't seen the sky in like six days. They don't let us look out the window. Oh, uh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't like them. I don't like them cubicles. Nah, man. Nah, man. Nah. Nah, man. Cubicles, man. Yeah. I used to never be in my cubicle, man. Yeah, you don't want to be in there. They go wrong. Yeah, man. Walking away from the cubicle. You know it's bad when you don't want no boss, man. Like, you know, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad when they're talking to you. And like, and all you're doing in your head is you're just sitting there looking at them, and like, you know, it, 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 when you're talking at the, when you when you're thinking the same time that they're talking in their head, and you can't even understand what they're saying, yeah. you ain't even interpreting what they're saying. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> so, what, what do you think about that, Ron? Uh, yeah, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah I, 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 I agree. Right <laughs> I agree. You thinking about what you're gonna do when you get home? Yeah, man. Come on. But nah, man. Cubicle, yeah, man. It's like, it's, 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 it's a box, bro. It's a jail. It's prison. It's prison. He's right though, brother. Like he's like he's talking about a dream though. You know, everybody. Yeah. yeah. Nobody wants a boss. Yeah. yeah. Nobody wants to answer. Yeah. But for some that do, you know what I mean? It, Cubicle. It, it's, it's how you live. You know what I mean? It's yeah. how you live. You make yeah. your choices. It still sucks. Cubicles are horrible. Yeah, man. They're death traps. He's talking like he knows. I don't think he's ever worked in a cubicle in his life. I don't know. I, don't know. I doubt he has. I don't know. Doubt that doubt bird doesn't seem like tough to me. No. Yeah. He no. probably knows people this work. <laughs> <laughs> hey Steve, you wanna go get a sandwich? <laughs> and then you can't trust, you know, beautiful women you, you can't trust. I mean, the most beautiful you, you can't you can't trust, hmm. bro. There's you know, I mean, that's just like stereotyping, man. I don't it's want not stereotyping. stereotyping. It's facts. Man. But if the numbers are there, you know what I mean? Is it stereotyping if the numbers are there? But I'm not saying. What do you mean it's numbers are there? You know what I mean? I'm just, I'm just fan, like, you know. Beautiful women, women, like. <laughs> you know, it comes with a beautiful lifestyle. Oh, yeah. To some, saying, to you some. Know. You know I mean? There's a few out there that get lucky, beautiful women. But it really, but really what it is, it's, it's, it's what you find <coughs> beautiful about that person. You know what I mean? Beautiful women have the easiest, they have the easiest road in front of them. <laughs> beautiful like is said, in the eyes of the beholder. You know what I mean? Like you said, I mean, but beautiful is being fine is fine. You can tell a fine. Fine is 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 fine. F